Hi guys, uh, we will continue on uh, our discovery on our second pattern, interesting pattern, which is what we call as a continuation pattern. Um, as it names, continuation pattern is actually a continuation pattern of uh, bottom reversal. We want to identify either bottom reversal pattern has a potential to go even further up or not. All right, so let's we see what is this continuation pattern is all about all right now before this we had learned about the bottom reversal so after this bottom reversal all right we want to see either the, the the movement has the power to move up or not all right so um what we do is there is a target and um if t1 all right this is the requirement of uh, continuation patterns rules if we that it must a uh, time frame for one is uh, less than time frame for two all right the demand line it has be must be higher than uh, the seller line or the supply line all right if this happened or uh, if we see uh, from this bottom reversal pattern then we can uh, make a new target for pattern C alright for pattern C now uh, target for of pattern bottom reversal the new line should be actually at least y1 plus times 1.618 alright what I mean by that, uh, we consider this is as our Y1. So actually, Y2, the new target would must be at least 1.618 of Y1. All right. So this new target is actually, all right, is actually 0.618 higher. All right. So if hit hit the tag new target, it has chance to be pattern C. All right, it has chance to be pattern C. That retrace should not be lower than sixty one point eight. All right, sixty one point eight percent. All right, and what I mean by this is that after it hit target, it can have potential to to retrace at. 61.8% uh, of right 61.8% of uh, Y2 okay and uh, our objective uh, for this continuation pattern is obviously we want to see either the trend it will be continue upwards or not so if we are able to see uh, the trend would continue to go up what it means so guess what it means all right so we can let the profit run we can let the profit run so the rule for this to happen is that the pattern must shows potential reversal all right must shows potential reversal that is pattern bottom reversal had been occurred and then um, we measure the new target for the next loop for this for the demand line which is y2 equal to 1.618 times y1 all right it's that easy it's not that complicated and you can immediate immediately um you can immediately uh predict what will happen next all right now we know that all right we know that uh pattern this is a pattern bottom reversal Right. We illustrate again for you so that you, you guys can uh, have m more understanding on these patterns. So basically, what we're trying to do is that we want to see this new target reaching 1.618 of Fibonacci of Y1. All right. So how do it, how how did we want to uh, analyze this? All right. Is it has potential to go 1.618? All right. Now, if does it has potential to go 
we doesn't know about this all right we have to wait for the uh, for the stock to move by itself upward by after the uh, bottom reversal so we are looking forward to this pattern we are looking forward to this pattern um, either for buying opportunity or uh, we can um, let our profit run all right so actually you must have pattern bottom reversal okay and y2 must be equal 1.618 of y1 again this is the third time we we recap on this and if it happened that's mean that is mean okay that is mean when we trace all right if y2 retrace it has high chance to retrace 61.8 percent of fibonacci proportion of wave right what 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 we mean by this is that if it hit target all right this is bottom uh, pattern bottom reversal and there is a continuation pattern and uh, we can see that um, at least the new target must move equal or higher than y1 times 1.618 of fibonacci proportion right what we mean by this is that this line when we drag our fibonacci uh, and then uh, make it to a distinct high and distinct low right this is 100 percent and this zero percent now all right we can see that this line retrace at 61.8 percent of fibonacci proportion all right fibonacci proportion now we know that after this uh, pattern commence all right we know that the next movement would be aggressively upward so now we don't want to be rushing in in selling our equity when it goes down but rather we want if we want to let our profit run and that's what we want to do when we are trading in financial any financial equities we want our profit to be uh, big as possible and our loss uh, small as possible so you must let your profit run all right how did you must let how did you let your profit run is that you have must be patient you must be patient and you must let it retrace for a while and then if it comply to the rules and guidelines it will retrace at 61.8 percent of uh, fibonacci proportion of y2 and after it shows a sign of reversal at 61.8 percent all right after it has it shows a potential reversal which is the candlestick reversal so it will goes up it will goes up all right and it will not only ordinary goes up but it will aggressively goes up all right but you have to remember that y2 must be 1.618 of y1 all right now pattern bottom reversal and continuation pattern to confirm is it real bottom or not bottom all right basically this bottom reversal already confirmed that uh, the the bottom has been achieved and if continuation pattern appear it's double confirm and reaffirm that uh, the market has been reversed upward all right especially when uh, at some certain uh, scenario in certain patterns for example like cup and handle patterns you can uh, see this pattern at the most bottom part of the cup pattern all right and you can be able to identify um, the reversal the bottom and River subsequently reversal and you are looking forward for an entry at this point all right at the most bottom part of uh, the cup pattern and what you must do is that you have to monitor for uh, bottom reversal and continuation if you manage to get into the trade all right uh, you must let your profit run if uh, it achieve continuation pattern rules you is uh, it is uh, advisable that you let your profit run the year after and use fibonacci to measure your new target all right and why this is a uh, very important is that you not um you not uh, aggress you not uh too rushing 
at selling uh, your equity down but rather you let it profit run all right and if you understand about these patterns of uh, both this pattern bottom reversal and continuation and um, you will able you'll be able to make a lot of money in the market all right but this pattern from my own experience is a uh, quite a long uh, long time frame pattern but uh, you must have passion to wait for it to go up sometimes right and uh, but it's worth a while right it's worth a while because you buy at the very bottom part and you can let it run or you doesn't even care about what happen next and you can let the profit run uh, as far as it can goes up in the sky all right and you can enter from bottom uh, reversal patterns but again monitor for pattern continuation thereafter if pattern C shows again let the profit run right this, this is what we are talking about just now um, do not rushingly at uh, selling your equities down if there is continuation pattern all right reaffirm reaffirm the the line or the, the patterns then you can let the profit run for a bigger profit in the future all right if this pattern C does not appear so what what you're gonna do what you have to do is that you uh, you rather plan to sell it because uh, there is might not be chance uh, for the for the pattern to continue upward all right it may be it will retrace more than 61.8 percent all right then you don't want to miss out these profits at this time if it retrace more you want to to sell it and you are looking forward to buy it again uh, in the future because it goes lower than 61.8 percent and it has uh, no chance f in uh, moving up all right now if after pattern continuation not hit 1.618 and luckily it goes uh, up right after the retracement uh, is uh, it is a, a, the result of a market fluctuation it is not the real move up right it's not the real move up but if you have still you you, you have still uh, uh, have the positions so you are looking forward to sell it all right take this opportunity that, that the market want to give you uh, uh, money extra money then uh, because of uh, this is not comply to our rule and you are looking forward to sell it when it's uh, when it's uh, move up because uh, it is an opportunity for you to sell at higher price and again it is not real move up 